What's up, Hacker Nation, and welcome to Chapter 3, Data Classification for the CCSP. Now, the only thing more boring than talking about data classification is probably watching NASCAR. I mean, this is up there with driving through the middle of Nebraska, listening to throwbacks of the 80s. But anyways, let's jump into the exam essentials and review questions of Chapter 3, Data Classification. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go over chapter three, exam essentials. So be familiar with the description of data mining, real-time analytics, and agile business intelligence. Know that data mining is also called big data. Real-time data mining is data mining in sequence with data creation. And agile is the state of art data mining that can detect trends inside of trends and also identify even more indirect and obscure patterns. Understand the various roles, rights, and responsibilities related to data ownership. That means know who the data subject, owner, controller, processor, and custodians are, and understand the rights and responsibilities associated with each of those roles. Also understand the purpose and method of data categorization and classification. That means know why and how data owners assign categories and classifications to specific data sets. And this goes back to different types of privacy laws, jurisdictions, whether the information is classified, unclassified, secret, top secret, etc. Be familiar with data discovery methods. That means know how and when data is labeled and by who. So labels might include the date of creation, the date of scheduled destruction, the confidentiality level, handling directions, dissemination, access limitations, the source, the jurisdiction that it falls under, and any applicable regulations are all part of data labels. Know the data lifecycle and make sure that you know these phases in order, which are create, store, use, share, archive, and destroy. Know which phases include data labeling, content creation, IRM activities, data disposal, data retention, and data audits. And also be familiar with the various intellectual property protections. What this means is know the difference between copyrights, trademarks, patents, and trade secrets. Copyrights are protections for expressions of ideas. So this involves literary works, films, music, software, and artistic works. Copyrights do not cover ideas, specific words, slogans, recipes, or formula. Now trademarks, they apply to specific words and graphics and are representations of an organization such as a brand. Now a trademark can be a name of an organization, a logo, a phrase associated with the company, even a specific color or sound or combination of these can be trademarked with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Now patents, they protect intellectual property in the form of inventions, processes, materials, decorations, and plant life. So when somebody gets a patent with the USPTO, the owner gains exclusive rights in the production and sale of that property. Now, trade secrets, they involve a lot of these same aspects, but however, a trade secret is just that it can't be disclosed to the public. And then lastly, know what should be included in policies for data retention, audit, and disposal. So what that means is understand essential aspects like terms of retention and disposal, retention formats, how regulations dictate these things, and how every policy needs to include details for maintenance, monitoring, and enforcement. Also know that crypto shredding is the most practical option for data disposal in the cloud. Now there's a lot of content in chapter 3 that really needs to be dissected in further detail. There's also other information in there including information rights management and its implementations. 
All right, so let's jump into the review questions for chapter three, data classification. Question one, data labels could include all the following except for what? A, the date data was created, B, data owner, C, data value, or D, date of scheduled destruction. If you said C, data value, you would be right because it might not be information we want to disclose to anyone who does not have the need to know. Question two, all of the following are data analytics modes except for what? A, real-time analytics, B, data mining, C, agile business intelligence, or D, refractory iterations. If you said D, refractory iterations, you would be right because this isn't a real term. Question three, all policies within the organization should include a section that includes all of the following except for what? A, policy maintenance, B, policy monitoring, C, policy enforcement, or D, policy transference. If you said D, policy transference, you would be right. Question four, the most pragmatic option for data disposal in the cloud is which of the following? A, melting, B, crypto shredding, C, cold fusion, or D, overwriting. If you said B, crypto shredding, you would be right. Question five, what is the intellectual property protection for a tangible expression of a creative idea? Is it A, copyright, B, patent, C, trademark, or D, trade secret? If you said A, copyright, you would be right because copyrights are protected tangible expressions of creative works. Question six, what is the intellectual property protection for a useful manufacturing innovation? Is it A, copyright, B, patent, C, trademark, or D, trade secret? If you said B, patent, you would be right because patents protect processes as well as inventions, new plant life, and decorative patterns. Question seven, what is the intellectual property protection for a very valuable set of sales leads? A, copyright, B, patent, C, trademark, or D, trade secret? If you said D, trade secret, you would be right because confidential sales and marketing materials unique to the organization are trade secrets. Question eight, what is the intellectual property protection for a confidential recipe for muffins? A, copyright, B, patent, C, trademark, or D, trade secret? If you said D, trade secret, you would be right because confidential recipes unique to an organization are known as trade secrets. Question nine, what is the intellectual property protection for the logo of a new video game? A, copyright, B, patent, C, trademark, or D, trade secret? If you said C, trademark, you would be right because logos, symbols, phrases, and color schemes that describe brands are trademarks. And finally, question 10. IRM tools use a variety of methods for enforcement of intellectual property rights. These include all the following except for what? A, support-based licensing. B, local agent enforcement. C, dip switch validity. Or D, media present checks. If you said C, dip switch validity, you would be right. Information rights management solutions use all of the other following methods except for dip switch validity, which isn't even a real term. And that does it for chapter three data classification. If you enjoyed these videos, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe because next week we're gonna be going over chapter four,
cloud data security, exam essentials, and review questions, so stay tuned. And thanks for watching. Yeah.